This is... <laughs> Breach and Clear Deadline. Uh, it's the follow-up to a game, Breach and Clear. Uh, the reason I own it is because I bought Breach and Clear in a sale. And uh, as a result, I got a 50% off coupon for Breach and Clear Deadline. Uh, I wasn't uh, immediately convinced, but I got to play the game a bit at um, EGX Rest, and it seemed like it had some potential, and uh, I thought I'd support the development by uh, buying the early access. So you can see down the text in the bottom, the bottom right, early access pre-alpha Monday, April the 20th. So this is the new version released today. Um, although I do own Breach and Clear, I can't say I've done anything other than play the tutorial. So I couldn't tell you if this is uh, massively different to Breach and Clear. I don't think it is. It's probably uh, one of the main differences. Breach and Clear is, is sort of a terrorist ops game, whereas this is. This is uh, more to do with zombies and stuff. So. It's a squad based uh, tactical game, and although the combat can be turn based, you can also do it dynamically. Now, I was playing this a bit earlier, and, uh, oh. and I did actually already do this bit, but you know, I won't hold it against them. Let's just do it again. So, we're now switched to tactical mode. I'm going to pull the right trigger to advance time. So you have left button is exit command mode. We've wiped all them out. That's good. So, now, what I'm going to do... Is I'm going to move my men up. There we go. I'm going to choose the angle of fire. Consider it done. Move him up there. Choose the angle of fire. Ready on your go. I'm gonna move him. Where's my other bikes? I'm gonna move him here and shoot back across like that. Yes, sir. And him, I'm going to move there, and I am going to uh, use an inventory tactic. Let's throw, oh, a flashbang grenade. So the interesting thing here is, although I'm back to doing this, this part of the mission again, uh, all my inventory is used. Alright, let's see how that works out. Here come the men. They're all stunned. I'm going to wipe them out very quickly now. does continue, there'll be some more enemies back there. So let's just uh, do that. Stay sharp. Reloading. 
Yeah, I see. There's more enemies over there, look. Consider it done. And we'll move this plank over here to support this other guy. There we go. Alright, so now there are people coming in from the bottom. Roger. So far, cover hasn't actually seemed to be that important to me. Done. Let's see. But you never know. Roger. That could all change. So, what's interesting to me about this is that it's turn-based. Oh, my bloke's getting shot there. You got it. Let's uh, get him back out. Done. And gang up on that guy. Roger. Kill everybody down that way, yes. So let's just um let's just everybody shoot that guy. Stay sharp. Right, cancel move with B. There we go. Clear. Did all right. Did anybody die? No damage taken. So it is early access. It's possible I should have taken damage then, and it just didn't really, uh, didn't really pay off. So there's also, uh, you know, this sort of more dynamic exploration aspect. See, I can shoot. Oh, there's health over here. Let's go and investigate it. I've got a med kit. Yes, I can shoot like that and play it sort of as a shooter. I don't think that's really the uh, best way to do it. But, uh, you know, if you just play it this, this way, it's sort of like a bit of more dynamic XCOM. You don't. Uh... All right. There's no bad guys. Where are the bad guys? So there were a whole bunch of bad guys there before, and they're not there anymore. Possibly because I saved at this point. Roger. After defeating them all. set the game somewhat but it is early access so you can expect some uh, slightly weird bugs all clear reloading there we go targets down area clear accuracy not a number time taken three seconds I'm a star so let's just investigate around here a little bit some more ammo, some more grenades. No. Oh, here we go. Here's some more bad guys. I oh, know they're good guys. 
Elizabeth Reynolds. Yes, sir. On it. On it. For interlocking fields you of get fire. It. You see what I mean? Let's see how that works out for me. Oh. Let's cancel his action. Let's move it there. Shoot that guy. Roger. Let's cancel his action. Let's move there and let's shoot that guy. Yeah, him. Yeah, there's some other guys coming. Where are they? Oh, they're in the alleyway. Interesting. Uh huh. Shoot down the other way. On it. for it. AO shows green. Good work. And it's all done. AO shows green. Good work. So I'm doing the uh, campaign story mode. So as you can see there is there's a there's, there's a bit more of a uh, well, I don't suppose it's that much more, but that the story spreads to the actual combat situations, unlike in XCOM. Reloading. Okay, we're not going to the harbour. Gonna raid the pub, which is always next to the mission, I'm sure. So I think you can see how the game the game goes on. Uh, uh, you know, I've put quite a few hours into XCOM. This is just slightly more uh, free-flowing style of uh, XCOM. Quite like it. 
think I'll, uh, I'm quite, you know, I'm quite glad I spent the, whatever it was, seven quid on it uh, last month, seven fifty, I think. And it's definitely worth that, even even in its current state. I would have said, and I think they're building towards release in the summer, so expected to get uh, a bit better. Uh, that's as obvious as it should be. It's a native Linux uh, version, so. Uh, worth checking out.